and welcome to episode 122 of Madhouse Militia Presents, Like What You See in the Movies. From our August 9th and 10th show of 2024, we get accused of making some type of prank call, engage in lunk alarm services, try to get trained as boxers, encounter the cyst-urn exchange, try to get scarier pictures to scare the bugs away, talk about cross, learn some lessons of the 80s, enter someone's activation code, send someone to room 109, get hosed by a sprinkler, and see a UFO. We have timetable troubles, encounter stressed out Roger, geocache some geotagged food for fun and profit, save some pennies, get stuck in a Boeing capsule, play a song for intermission, hang up the phone very slowly, and do some pool service. The show ran an hour longer, so there's far more hidden within the entire show. This show features calls by Crispy808, Snappy Bakes, Wingless, Catastrophe, Mustard, Wasted Memory, Big Boy Farts 666, Xenorax, DTB, Anonymous, Dwight the Janitor, Milkman, and then there's me, and I voice Miriam, Dixie Cream, and El Asthma, as well as myself, Axpa. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com forward slash AKSPA, where we broadcast every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Dragomir for Corndown.com, where he broadcasts every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, right before our show. You can also find him on RogueServer.com forward slash Dragomir. We also wish to give thanks to our patrons, such as Carlos T., Klusritz, Experts, Brian N., Mig Chungus, Jayed, Ryan T., Travis B., Goldrust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts, 666, Jesus Paynus, and Turbo, the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for helping support the show. I really do mean it. Every week we do this, and every week your money goes towards making the phone calls and making the show happen. So from the bottom of my heart, I have to thank everybody for both listening to the show and contributing to the show. In which case, if you want to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute, where we list both cryptocurrency, PayPal, Cash App, uh, and a bunch of other things, I think, in which way you can help contribute to the show. We do Ko-fi. We do Patreon. uh, Patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. You can find us on YouTube at Madhouse Militia as well. You should also check out my other channel, which is at Dad's Weather Tapes on YouTube, which is a big 730 video channel of old commercials and weather reports and stuff like that from the 80s, from uh, from 86 on through uh, 2005, actually. So 730-something videos on there that I organized over the last two and a half years, and that's, uh, that's a big project that's finally done. I'm happy it's done. Anyway... Uh, Enjoy the show. I think you'll like this one. It was a lot of fun. We went an hour longer than usual, and uh, there's some nice music in between thrown in because we used some stuff that hasn't been played on the show yet uh, during a call, and so that's thrown in as an intermission. I think everyone will enjoy that. Uh, if you want to find out more about us on the website, you can find us at immoralhole.com, travelswithmiriam.com, has our archives, and uh, archive.org has the Immoral Hole archive, which you can find linked on the website at immoralhole.com. Thank you. I hope you have a good time listening to this one. I enjoyed producing it. I enjoyed having everyone on, and I encourage everybody to come on over to rogueserver.com. Lennon? This is Mary. Try. Hi. Hello? Is this is this the hideaway? Yes, this is Mary. Is oh, everything good. okay? Yeah, well, we were wondering if we could hide uh, some like a cache out there in the woods. And just come back to it like like six months from now when we're like we're back. Would that be all right? <laughs> yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, because we're gonna do geocaching. Like we're gonna put air tags on everything. Like we're gonna put some bags of food in there. We're gonna see if like you know animals take it. We can you know use the GPS tracker on the air tag and we can see where it goes and you know when the animal pushes the feces out of its body and where the food ends up. You know that sort of thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Just be careful out there. There's plenty okay, of uh, cool. deep drops. All right. 
All right, cool. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we'll be in touch. We'll, we'll let you know uh, where to find the, the things in the hideaway. Okay, sounds good. All, All right. right, have a good thank night. You. you too. Good okay. night. Bye. Bye. I love you. Thank you for calling the Hampton Inn and Kia Cooks. This is Danny. How may I help you? Hi, uh, where's the pickleball court? Don't tell me you actually have one. Wow. I want to say there is one here in town. Oh. What happened to racquetball? Okay. Give me just a second. I'm going to read through the... You know, all the cool people were getting sweaty in racquetball courts back in the 80s. I think those same people might be playing rac- uh, pickleball now. Pretty much. Remember when women used to wear, like, a, a sweatshirt, like, over their workout gear and then... <laughs> You know, yep. it would just create this V of sweat, like the 80s V sweat thing. Guys would do it, too. Oh, yeah. I've watched and then they watched would, Police Academy a time yeah. or two. Oh, Police Academy. You know what the 80s taught me? What? That you could, you could start in the mail room and work your way up to the boardroom. Yeah, and that was a lie. That was a big lie. <laughs> Like, I have no talent, no nothing, but if I'm noticed by the right person in the company, watch out. It's Darn Chardonnay it. and what, what happened? The only place we have pickleball here in town is the YMCA, which is that whole membership. Oh, okay. It's like I knew I had seen something about it in town, but unfortunately it was on a community page. Oh, well, thanks for looking. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I mean, I could, I could satisfy my 80s urges with some cocaine. I mean, that would work. Um, actually, you can better satisfy your 80 urges by going down to Joysticks Rockade here in town tomorrow. Oh. They serve pizza, and they've got all sorts of, uh classic arcade games ranging from, like, the 70s all the way up to, like, the early 2000s. That's a much healthier... Wow, I I totally want to go there. Holy crap. Yep. Yep, just look them up on, on Google. It'll pop up for you. On Google Maps, it might be on the wrong side of the street, but the it has the right number on it. The right... Uh, you know, yeah, thanks for the address. suggestion. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's a far better use of my time than pickling my balls. I think that's a really good suggestion. Pretty much. You have a wonderful night, hon. Okay, bye. Bye. It's a great day at the Kika Quality and a Sweet This is Lizzie. I may help you. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Hi, how are you? Good, you? Oh, I'm good. Listen, I had a situation outside. I don't know if if you know about this, but there's a stray dog and a stray cat, and they're fighting. And they've been going from property to property out here. I was over at the Japanese restaurant earlier, and there, there was happening over there, but I was staying over here, not with you guys, but across the way. Okay. Well, I was cutting through, and I, I saw that it's happening again. And I was wondering if you were aware or if you knew the dog or cat. Maybe you, you know why they're fighting, because... Um, do you, by chance, know where they're at right now? Yeah, they're currently uh, they're currently tearing my clothing off. Uh, that's why I'm calling. So the dog, he's got my trousers. The cat's got my shirt. Um, but they're both biting at each other, and they're they're biting me on the on the feet, right about the the feet and about the ass there. 
Are they biting you right now? Yes, yes. I've had. I've, they're small bites, mind you, but it, it is still. It's it's bitey time here. It's bite. It's it, they're biting me. It's it's hurting. Mighty, mighty fierce. Did you, did Sir, you say it was biting time? It's. I guess it's biting time here. Oh no, no I'm he's sorry. he. He's here. He's talking about the the president, Biden. Yeah, he's here. He's eating ice cream. Biden time. Yeah. Yeah, he president. he figured that he wasn't. Yeah, the president's here. I'm sorry, but he's I don't understand a, what you guys are talking about. The okay. The president is here and he has a soft serve ice cream from McDonald's, which is two miracles. One, the president of the United States is here. Two, the ice cream machine at McDonald's is working. Okay, um, can I get your name and number and I'll have the president call, give you a call. Okay, my name is Kalima Harris. Okay. Yep. And what's the phone number for you? To, um, I, I hope you do know. I don't have a phone you give number. give me a fake number. I, I, have a I, phone. I have caller ID. Oh, no. You're not going to, like, star 69 me and I can catch me, are you? No, but you going around prank calling people, especially businesses like this, saying you're with the president is not cool. I will be giving your phone number to the police, Okay. Oh, but but I'm I have a number. Yeah, I have it right here. Oh, you I do? I have the what phone number. It? You're calling me. I'm not going to give you that information. I will be giving it to the police, and they will be giving you a call. Okay. What are you going to tell them? I'm going to tell them exactly what you've been doing. That I have ice cream with the president. The president is not here in town. Why not? There's there's a confused because old man walking down the street. I thought it was him. Well, I don't know what you guys are doing to get yourselves off or anything, but don't be calling back. I will be giving your phone number to the police. What? Understand? Why, why do you assume that it has to be like that, uh, like we're trying to get off? Because when you guys first called, you were simply saying that you were getting bitten by animals. Yeah, the cat yeah, and the dog are like, biting me. Yeah, let's go back to that I will be giving this timeline. number to the police, okay? And don't be calling back unless you want to come here in person. Okay, you can, can I give you my real though. name then? Okay, then what is can, your real can name? Can I give you my real name? Boss Hog. And that's Roscoe was talking previously. May I ask why you guys are calling? Because reasons. You're the lucky actually, winner. We're, actually, we're from the future. You guys are on my phone. You guys can give me the reason why. We're actually from the future, and we've been sent back to give you an important message. The winning lotto numbers are five, seven. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, I was trying to borrow your sleeping bag um, for, you know, the, the sleepover, but uh, James is, um, I don't know, he's, I don't, he might have some kind of like super COVID AIDS or something. I don't know what's going on with him, so give me a call back. All right, bye. I love you. How's it doing? How can I help you? Hi, uh, can you hear me okay? I'm sorry? Uh-oh. Can you, can you hear me? It's a lot yeah. of yelling. 
all those people are. I sorry, I was talking and yelling. <laughs> Tell me to shut up. Who is, who is this? My name is James. Okay. And? I'm from the government. Okay. okay. Tell them to be quiet. This is serious. Who am I asking to be quiet? The, all these people, the hell is yelling and talking back in, in, in your phone. It sounds like they're up to something. I don't know. I'm going to have to tell. I'm gonna have to tell the human right. We're allowed to talk. What do you need? No, you're not when you're on the phone with me. And you are who? God's gift to work? <laughs> I'm... Smoking gun, this is Andrea. Hey, um, are you next to the Britannia Arms pub? Is I am close not. to you? No, we're in Hamilton, Illinois. Is this safe to go in there? But you, wait a minute, you said something with weapons. What did you say? Hickory Haven King, man. Hi, I'm with 98.6, the mouth radio station. How are you? Fine, how are you? We're just uh, calling our listeners to uh, give out prizes. Um, Can you name the song that's playing right now on the radio? No, this is... 98.6 The Mouth? It's what? Thanks, anyway. Hey, it's it's a hundred grand. And, yeah, 98.6 The Mouth. We're giving away a hundred thousand dollars. Hampton and Kirksville, this is Riley. Riley? Yes? Oh, good. I'm sorry. My phone was, was glitching there. I, I wasn't sure if I, if you could hear me. Uh, I'm here with my family here. <clears throat> and we were wondering what was going on outside because there was a commotion. There was a guy out there. He had his... Uh, well, there was a guy and he was accusing another man of having his trousers down. And I was um, not sure if it was if it was like some one of your guests. Maybe you had dealt with him. Maybe you sent him on his way. I don't know. But uh, I was just wondering if that had been resolved because uh, my my kid uh, was there with me and he's with me right now. And I don't know how much he saw, but maybe he can he can describe it hello, to you. Hello. Yeah, hello. Microphone. Hi, I saw it all from the beginning to the end. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, yeah, do you have uh, the timetable? Cuz I uh, th- what time you got? Cuz I got I got 9:24. What do you got? What is the time so here right now? That's what Yeah, cuz I'm coming in on the train and you know, we got the timetable that's all screwed up. It's 9:40. Oh, see, the, I'm back in time. They sent me back in time. It's 9.40 Every here. time. That's really weird because it's 9.25 over here. Okay, I do. so you know what is the thing? Is? Like, like, how I don't is know. That? Can you help I me out? Can you pull me out of the time vortex? Here, let me, let me I... turn on the time warp. Hold on, let me turn it on. Let me turn it on. I have to press this button right here. Okay, it's warming up. Okay. Okay, now I see it's 9... 9.37. Is that it? Yes. You pulled me through. Thank God. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. Good evening, Brahman Mansion. Yeah, hi. Hi, I was hi. wondering. I was wondering about uh, your uh, your your business there, the the whole event space machine. Uh huh. Well, how big is it? How many uh, can we fit in there? 
for an event or for overnight accommodation? Well, yeah, it would be an event that led into overnight uh, festivities, if possible. Um, for overnight, we have seven guest rooms. Okay, and that fits what, one person or two persons? Or more? Two, if they're okay, sleeping two. in the same bed. Yeah, yeah, everybody likes to sleep in the same bed. Everybody's here. Uh, they're with me. We want to book, you know, we've got seven people, seven warm bodies here. We can, we can fit in there. That'd be great. For tonight? Oh, no, no, this is for the future. Uh, I was gotcha. talking about future. Event. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we, we're still ironing out the details. We need to, you know, we, I'm just the point guy for right now, but there's another guy that's got uh, the newsletter, He's got that duty. He's got all the, you know, all the addresses. He's got to send it out. You know, it's like newsletter. You know, people are gonna RSVP, you know, through the mail. We're old gotcha. school like that, you know. Yes. The internet. So we have, we have seven guest rooms. There's one room that um, is a king size bed. Perfect. The perfect. other six yes. are seven queen. Beds, one bed. Yes. And um, then for events. Space. Well, that's we all right. I think the one room will be fine. Um, the bed okay. will be fine. Yeah. It's all right if we have it's seven men to the bed, right? Um, we've got seven guest rooms. Right, okay. Seven guest rooms. So if you right, wanted to rent right. the whole facility. Yeah. Okay, it but it's all right if we put all, if we just we're gonna um you know, we're gonna put all the beds together in one room. That's all right? No, that's not all right. Oh. Can't move the beds. Oh, uh, what can we do? Because we got, you know, seven men. You can we only... build a fort, really, I mean. Yeah, can't do that. And... So sorry. Why not? Maybe check with a hotel. Hello? Ah, uh, yeah, is this the break fast? Pardon? Well, break fast. Listen, I'm in my car with my wife, and she's driving. And I, I told her, now don't call her on the phone, because we're here in the car. No, God, no. What the hell? The other guys break fast. Stop. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, because you wanted to save a couple of pennies. Oh. Hampton and Sweet Roswell, Tim speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Tim. Yes. Oh, good. Listen, I got a problem out here in the hallway. There's a, uh, there's a mouse and a spider. There's a cat, too, and he's been he's been playing with the mouse. And now there's a spider in the mix, and there's a dog that's, that's eyeing all of it. I wasn't sure if you own the doggy, because he looks like he's from here. He doesn't have a collar, though. What floor is this? Floor? Yeah, what floor are you on? Well, I'm out here, by the lobby. By the lobby where? Well, outside. Uh, outside, outside, outside? Well, inside the outside where the hallway is. The east end or the west end? West end. And the dog, he looks a little mangy, but I, I thought maybe because he's on the inside-outside area, or maybe he's like a security dog? Yeah, no, we don't have security dogs. Let me go check. Well, all right, but they're getting hungry. All right, yeah, I'm going to go check right now. All right. All right, bye. Uh, uh, are you call me back. <laughs> Inside, outside, USA. I'm thinking to answer your truffle. This is Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Hi, how can I help you? 
Hello. Hey, um, I know this is gonna sound kind of cliche, but I think I see a UFO from my room. And I'm not kidding. I know this is like Roswell and everything, but I actually think I see a UFO. No cap. It's a UFO. Okay. Why Why are you laughing? I said no okay. cap. That should, like, tell you that I'm being serious. Okay. All these pigeons. The pigeons are acting strange now. I think the pigeons know that there's a UFO. Did, did you say, oh, God? What, what happened? I'm sorry? You know what? You know what? It, I might have just been seeing pigeons. Now I can't. Now I don't know. Because okay. sometimes the pigeons, they fly in like a V formation. And it looks like a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. I, I may, it may be in a trick of the light, you know? Yeah. Take me to unity there. Wait, this pigeon is talking. Hello? Travel. Hello? Hi, hello? Yeah, hey, listen, we're out here by the dumpster, and there's some cat in here, and there's a dog, and they're playing, but uh, then there's another cat and the dog, and we don't, we didn't bring this one. They were in here like this when we got here, and they're, they're talking English and stuff, and I don't know what to do. Okay, I'll be there. Okay, what will you do? Like, is I'll do you have your them. sister there? Maybe yeah. if you bring your sister over here, we can take a look. We can take turns. You know, I can okay. show you uh, my sister. You can show me your sister, and we can be happy. We can. All right, sure, I'll be there. Okay, Ben. Thank you for calling, Lucky Please, how can I help you? Hello, how are you? Good, and you? Uh, not too bad. I have some questions. Um, does this hotel, does this property currently partake in the sister exchange? What's the sister exchange? Where it's like, I have sister and you have sister and like we just do basically like basic exchange. I don't think so. Okay, do you have a sister? No. Oh. I have a sister. Do you have, like, maybe a friend or someone who's like, looks like a sister? Um, ma'am, do you need a reservation? Well, I thought I had one. I thought my sister made it. What's the name? Sister. Let me go and double check our system. Okay, sister, sis, cistern, cistern. No, ma'am, I'm not showing nothing for that. Oh, sister, cistern. It's a cistern. Excuse me? A cistern? Like, um, what do they call it? Like, cistern gender or something like that? What's the or first name? Uh, C-Y-S-T is the first name. And the last name is U-R-N. Cistern. Yeah. I'm not showing nothing for no one under that name. There's no one with a cistern gender there? No. Uh uh-uh, uh, this is this is troubling, it is. Because I have all this information and none of it's bearing true. 
This is all falsified information. Do you happen to be uh, running a uh, a grinder in the background? No, sir. Sounds like. Oh, I thought maybe you're making coffee. Yeah, but um, you know what it might be? Like the cremated remains of cysts would go in a cistern, right? Does that make sense to you? Um, yes, but I'm not showing any reservations for that right now. You're not seeing a reservation okay. for cremated cysts, no? Under that last name. I mean, some people don't believe in cremation. They think that you need to bury the cyst so that um, when, you know, the second coming the that the cyst can be resurrected. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out this. Thanks, West Park. Yeah, Hello? hi. How are you doing tonight? Fine. Oh, good. I was looking for a place to have a King's Rest that had a scenic view, and your place came up on the search. Scenic view? A scenic view, yeah. It says you have a scenic view. Um, no. It just oh. we have a, our motel on the business road, you know, Serious Road. It says you have a bed and breakfast, you have late night eats, uh, you have an indoor swimming pool. I think you're calling a wrong place, sir. No, 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 you're on Cerrillos Road. Right? No, I think you're calling a, I think I you're think, calling a wrong I place. I think, I think I'm calling the right place, because I got it right here on my phone, on the Yelp. No, we don't have a swimming pool, we don't have a, you know, breakfast, we don't have anything You don't like have? That. How don't no. you have? Why? I was told this hotel had bed bugs. Yeah, we're looking What's for going bed on? bugs. We're shopping around for bed bugs. Yeah, we want a hotel with bugs. Hello? We're en we're entomologists. We study bug words. Etymologists, yeah. Bars might be empty. Hello, sister. Are you Hello? there? Hello? Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um. Can you come change the pictures in my room? They're not working. The pictures? Do you mean the TV? Yeah. No, like the the photos or whatever on the wall. You know, like how farmers have like scarecrows to scare away the birds and stuff. Um, the bugs in my room are not scared of the pictures on the walls at all. I, I need scarier pictures so the bugs will go away. Huh. Yeah, I'm not too sure where to get some scarier pictures or where I would be able to switch them out to. Like, what would a bed bug be scared of, like, picture-wise? Because I'm, like, I'm looking at Target's website right now. Yeah, I have no idea. What, like, a big picture of a Terminex guy, like full suit truck. Like I could generate one with AI. Hold on, let me see. Are you okay with me changing the pictures on the walls to, sc to ones that would be scarier for bugs? Like, what would scare, in terms of a picture, like, you know, like a construction worker in a maid's outfit, would a bed bug be scared of that? Hello. Sir? Hello? Yeah, what are you I'm doing? Sorry. sorry, what was that? I asked you if, like, a bed bug would be scared of, like, a construction worker in a French maid outfit. Like, if. Did you need to make a reservation? How can I help you? I'm already, I'm already staying at the hotel. I'm telling you that 
the pictures in my room are not scaring the bugs off and I need to change the pictures. What room were you in? 215. And then the name on the reservation? Oh, um, it's uh, C-Y-S-T. E-S-T-R. Yeah, I don't have anybody by that name here. I don't think you're calling the right hotel. Huh. Is this the hotel with the insect psychologist convention? Uh, no. Sting? Oh, yeah, I must be calling the wrong one then. Because, like, we try to get into the minds of the bugs in the hotel. Okay. Well, I hope, like we're using, to, yeah, I we're hope like, we get the right hotel, okay? Like alternative ways of dispelling them from the property. Pecos Trail Inn, how can I help you? Hello, how are you? Uh, a little stressed out. How about you? <laughs> oh, oh no, what's going on? Uh, we're sold out, and I've got to call a guest with two barky dogs, so... Uh, Barky. That's what I was just starting to do when you called. Oh, Never. what kind of dog? Oh, dogs this are poor there? guy at the front desk. He's saying, uh, "Snappy's asking him, oh, how are you tonight?'" And he's like, "Oh shit." Hey, just being honest, uh, I should have been out of here seven no. minutes ago. The office closed at that's, nine. That's, uh, how can I help you? That's my brother. That's my brother. There's a thing called the mute button. I need to use it. Hold on. Uh -oh. oh, he's being a dingus. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna whack him with a newspaper. Go whack. There. Um, so barking dogs go. Uh, yeah, I just uh, have to call some people. Uh, anyhow, and now I'm getting another damn call from the bar people with the barking dog. Uh, we'll put them on three way. Uh, I'll have to call you back. I'll have to call you back. Oh, okay. God. Hello. Hi, it's Roger at the Pecos. Stressed out Roger at the Pecos Trail Inn calling you back. What are you talking about? Didn't you just call me at the Pecos Trail Inn? What? Uh, I guess not. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. This is Tabitha. Hello. Tabitha. Yes. Oh, I just wanted to... Hi, my name's Pam. I'm calling to check... I've got a problem in my room. There seems to be some sort of a void in the central space into which no light appears. Okay, give me just one moment. I'm afraid. Should I step into it? Huh? Now you're truly in a void. You're in the answering machine system. Yeah. Hi, I think you're calling me in on the Alameda front desk. This is Darla speaking. How may I help you? This is, hi. Um, I'm here. My name is Pam. There's a strange, like a strange shape, or it's kind of like a lack of a shape in the center of the room where it's like it's dark, like the light can't reach it and I like no matter what I do like I shine my phone line into it and it's still dark it's dark um, yes ma'am what room like, are you I'm in not, oof, that's the thing it's like I can't get to the part of the room without passing through the void what you ask me ma'am the void the more likely what's your last name ma'am is it Likely. L A K E L Y. Is it still 2014? No, ma'am. It's 2024. We'll have security go check on you in one moment. Oh, my. I've lost 10 years. Thank you, ma'am. We'll have him right that? over for you. Who? Oh, my God. Who's the president? We are currently voting. 
Oh, so there's no president anymore? It's, she says her last name's Mike Lee. Lacey? Go to 109. She's having a lapse in memory. I looked up your last name, ma'am. Oh, okay. Excellent. And he'll be right over to check on you in just a moment, ma'am. All right. I've always appreciated the the kindness of strangers. Yes, ma'am. You get some rest and we'll have him right over to check on you. I just... Uh, it, will he be able to bring back the 10 years? We'll see what we can do for you. How do you know I'm in 109? We looked up your last name, ma'am. Well, all right. All righty, ma'am. We'll see you in a moment. Bye. Wait. See you. Thank you for calling El Sendero N. How can I help you? Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm here with my wife. Let her, uh, let me give her the phone here. Okay. Hello. I'm Hi. my wife. How are you? Good, and you? We're, we're coming through. Oh, oh, my. We are travelers, and uh, we're trying to discover, it seems to be a noise, then it like repeats itself, like in like from the same. Like, have you ever had deja vu? Uh huh. Uh huh. We're having like it's very it's quite prevalent with us this evening. So we're trying to kind of get to the bottom of what phenomenon could be occurring. Okay, so you're in a room. Yes. What well, room are you? In? Not yet. Cause we haven't booked it yet. We're not oh. in it. Yes, quite yet. But in the timeline, we are. But I just, there's something, there's something off. There's something disrupted. Okay. It's like when you inhale too many gas fumes. Um, okay. It's just, it's like a repetition. It's like the cycle. It's like where the beginning's the end. Mm, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Did you just get back from your weed break? No, ma'am. Me! But seriously, uh, I'm trying to just get to the bottom. Well, my husband and I, we are travelers, as I mentioned earlier, and we're getting through and we're trying to complete, try to like a series of tasks. Um, if you were trying to make a reservation or something like that, I could transfer you over to reservations, but I'm not really sure what you're really saying. Hi, my name is Mobius. I'm, I'm her partner here for this interaction. How are you? Yes, you're here. continuar su llamada en español. Hello, this is How can I help you? Hi, can you hear me on this frequency? Yes. Hello? Uh, oh, good. So, you know the whole thing uh, up here with the Boeing craft, like how the engines failed and all that stuff? Um, I do. I've been trying to get a hold of... Oh, I've been trying to get a, a hold of someone on Earth to tell them my story. So, I, I went up in like a second space capsule... Um, I was supposed to be like the entertainment for the guys on the Boeing one. And I'm kind of lost in space, and nobody's talking about my story. So I, I want to be, I'm probably going to be I'm sort of hurtling through space, and I'm probably going to be out of range any moment. But I wanted to tell you my story so somebody knew. What was that last part? I'm so sorry. So, I mean, what Boeing doesn't want people to know is that I was sent as a male dancer into space following the Boeing capsule in another capsule. And there was a mishap, and I'm, like, hurtling towards Jupiter right now. And um, so I'm probably be consumed by the giant red spot on Jupiter at some moment here. 
but I just wanted people to know my name. You know, my name is Rockman, Rocket Man, and uh, that's my stage name. And that I, you know, I was a male dancer who made it up into space. Um, and uh, no one's talking about my story. Thank you for calling Hotel Inn of Santa Fe. This is Jocelyn. How may I help you? Jocelyn. Josephine? Jocelyn. Jo- Joc- 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 Jocelyn? <laughs> yes. Okay. I, I, You know, I'm happy that you were able to compromise on the pronunciation of your own name. That, that's really good. It shows me that you're willing to, you know, close the gap between us in this conversation and let me sound ignorant and stupid and dumb and all those things. Yeah, it's really good. No, 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 I would never. So you said your name is Vaseline? No. Uh, it's actually in Spanish, but that's besides the point. Your name is Spanish? Yes, sir. Your, your that's like your name S P A N I S H. No 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 no. My name is Yoselin. To be specific. Yosef. Wanted to know. Yosef. Yosef. Okay. Yosef. <laughs> no. Anyway, how can I help you tonight? Um, who are you? Front desk at Hotel Inn. At Hotel Inn? Yes. Isn't that kind of redundant? Hotel Inn? That's like fuel gas station or something. Like, I don't get it. Me neither. I'm sorry. I didn't pick the name. You know, I think you should have a fight with your boss over it. I think you should. I think this is the hill you should die on. You I should am, be like, "Look, I know I, I need this job." I'm not gonna fight my boss over the name. Like, like I know I need this job, but the, the name of the business is ridiculous, and whoever she made won't it is fight ridiculous. She's weak. She's weak-willed. This is my life coach here. You should talk to him. He'll help you out. Yeah, okay. don't be like her, okay? Don't don't ever be like her. She's weak willed, she's light in the loafers, and she probably wears welfare shoes. Yeah, That's she has to fight for her right welfare. to fight. Have a good night. Thank you for calling Hotel Inn of Santa Fe. This is Yoselin. How may I help you? Hey, how you doing there, Yoseline there? Um this here is Food Stamp Johnny. Uh I just had a couple questions for you. Next to the historic plus. Hello, thank you for calling the front desk of Real Hotel St. Francis. How may we assist you? Hello? Hi, hi, hello? Hello, who is hello? this? Hello? Hi, yeah, I'm calling on behest of the uh, the, the system, the, ser- uh, the service. Uh, they had me call earlier. They said to call back because you guys were busy. So I'm calling back. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm with the service. Uh, there's Which an service old man. I'm the I'm the old man service. I take care of the old man. So sorry, I believe you got the wrong number. No, 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 no. Um, it's a hotel I'm calling. We need to make a room booking for the old man. I'm taking care of him. Everything's in his name, though. That's that's the the, the thing that's like got everyone in their. Uh, and their mother is concerned for some reason. But no, I work I work for the system, you know, the people, and they sent me out with the man, and we're going we're trying to make a room booking so he can sleep. Well, I'm Alrighty. not gonna sleep with like with him. I'm I'm just making the plans for him. I do his bookings. I'll uh, transfer you over to a reservation specialist and. Oh no, we had we had questions regarding the uh, the place there. Like when we get there, how many hookers hang out in the lobby? That sort of thing, because he's really thirsty. 
I am going to hang up. Thank you for calling. Good night. Now, why don't you just do it? Why are you telling me you're going to hang up? Just do it. Good evening, Eldorado and Spa. Is it okay if I put you on a quick hold? Well, no, we got a situation with the pool here. The pool is closed for the night. Yeah, well, I'm in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it's in the pool. Well, I'm sorry? We're in the pool. We got stuck in the pool. It covered over us. We were stuck in the pool. Really? Yeah. I'll go ahead and send somebody up. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh. Right into sound effect. Hi, I'm here with my brother, and we were gonna make a uh, poppy seed bagels in the room, and we have extra ones, and we wonder if you wanted you wanted one with us. We have cream cheese, and we have lox, and we have ham, we have cheese, and we have uh, what else do we have, brother? Oh, here, let me get him for you, because he, he's the one that wanted to talk to you about the thing, because there's something going on that he saw outside that he was really cross about, and I'm not sure if he wants to talk about it or not now. It was a cistern, okay. yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm really cross. Wait, What's going on? Carlito cross? Um... Have, uh, do you listen to the radio? Mm, no, not really. Um, yeah, I mean, who listens to the radio anymore? Do you? But have you heard of the station ninety eight point six, The Mouth? Yes. Yeah, they play this song on there uh, called Carlito Cross, and um, it's from the album um, Motherfucker You. I'm sorry to curse on the phone, but. Yeah, have you heard it? No. You ever heard that song? But you know of the no. radio station, 98.6 The Mouth? Wait, you just said you knew the radio station. What's, what's, what's happening? I know the happening? radio station, but I don't know that song. But let me hand you to somebody else. Hold on. Oh. Maybe they know. Here it okay. Is. All right. This is Andrew. Can I help you? Hey, have you heard the radio station 98.6, The Mouth? I've never heard of that, no. Because she said she's heard. I, oh, I have Because there's a song that keeps playing on there. It's, it's on the clock radio in the room. Uh-huh. And uh, it j just keeps playing this song, Carlito Cross. Huh. Yeah, never heard um, of it. Yeah, it's like it goes, Carlito Cross, motherfucker you. You ever heard that? No, I don't think so. Well, this is like a different rendition of it right here. Mm. Yeah, this is on 98.6 in the mouth. Huh, yeah, never, never heard of that one. Is there something I could help you with? Yeah, I mean, doesn't that slap? Doesn't that song slap, though? No yeah. cap? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm hip. I'm with it. Right, right on. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. Alrighty, well you have a good night. Shit. All right, you too. Thanks. Bye bye. If you've gotten this far, this is an intermission. We're gonna play the song that was used in the last phone call next. Uh, if you want to skip it, go about three minutes and twenty seconds ahead in the recording.
Gone too soon, motherfucker. You. Santa Fe, this is Douglas. Hi, right, listen, Doug, we got the horse machine here, we got the rock, and we got the Chevy. Now, the incantation reads here that we got to call you up and ask you about the turtle fish. You got the turtle right, fish? Sir. No, what sir. What do you I'm mean, all right? Not. All right, well, that's all I need to know. Thank you so much. Have a great night. I love you. All right, sir. I love Thank you. you. Well, right. Say it back or it's weird. <laughs> Thank you for calling Hampton and Santa Fe. Hello? Hello? Hi, yes, I'm I'm here with, uh, uh, and, and my wife, uh, well, we're not sure. You know, she she thought she uh she got rid of it. But we, we need we need someone to like check check, you know? Of course. What was it? Oh, uh, it was um the the baby. The baby? Yeah, yeah, the baby. She went to the clinic and she thought she got rid of it, but it's uh, she's not sure. We 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 want a second opinion, but you know, there's parts. Um, you know, you got the right number. Yeah, yeah, we're we're staying here. Yeah, we're just uh, she's she's on the toilet right now. What do you mean about the baby? The toilet baby. Are you seeing it in the hotel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toilet baby, you know, toilet baby, you're oh. the one. Toilet baby, you're so much fun. Toilet baby. Yeah, she's playing uh, with the toilet baby. What room are you in? I'm in the bathroom. She's She's playing with the toilet baby right now. I have no clue what you're talking about, sir. The toilet baby, you know, the toilet baby, you're the one. Toilet baby makes bath time fun. You know, toilet baby. You know, toilet baby. There's a commercial and everything. Toilet baby. 
No, I, yeah, I really don't know. What you, I have no clue what you're talking about, sir. Well, she's got the sponges all up in her, you know what, and she's been, you know, she's been trying to get rid of the the the, uh, the problem, you know. Well, you know, we might be able to take the parts and make bath toys out of them. Yeah, they're like, you know, like wax, like wax figures in here, like wax toys, you know, toilet baby. It's a wax toy set. You, you get them at the candle store. You light them in the bathroom. The toilet baby. He comes out at night. Uh, he steals your underpants mostly. Yeah. All right. Well, look. Uh, I'm gonna go. I don't. I don't know that I'm wasting your time or not. I'm sorry if I am. I didn't mean to. I'm just. She's no, just, no, no. How are you good? Yeah. I have no clue what you're talking about. I'm sorry. All right. Well, uh, it, it's probably something to do with the, uh, the the drugs I took. You know. Oh, okay. That's okay. Probably what it is. I'm fine. It's just the toilet baby. He's he's dancing all over the place, man. Okay. Okay. He yeah, came out bit. of there. Yeah, he came out of there. He's with my wife right now. They're doing things out in back there. And okay, okay, you have a good, you have a good day. Right. Okay. Bring people to well, Marcus Santa Fe, this is Maggie. How may I help yeah. you? Yeah, I'm I'm fucking pissed off. Talk to my brother. He fucking deal with this shit. No. You hear me? Hey, hey, hey bitch. Hello? Hey. Hello. I'm oh, sorry. I thought you were hanging up on me. I'm sorry. I just got a little bit of a temp. Hello? Hey, hello. You keep going in and out. Oh, that's that's what I'm best, really. Um, you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so we have just a little bit of a problem here. My brother's kind of losing it. In what room are you in? Uh, I, I'd have to have him tell you that, but he's just too mad to get on the phone right now. I think, uh, I think it was like second, so he had a two or some, some in it, I, but, um, he's just a little too mad. We can get that for you in a minute, but we were just in here and like in the bathroom down by the toilet, there's like a, I don't, it's hard to explain, but there's the like, fucker. yeah, I, it's not going anywhere though. Oh my God. Yeah. He's, oh my God. That's making it bigger. So there's this hole behind toy that then it's like weird. Like, you know, most like you can look in stuff, but this was like a hole, but it was like also you like you couldn't see in it. It was like, there, oh, my God, it's now it's like the size of the back of the toilet. He just keeps kicking it. I'm sorry, but there's this hole. It keeps I don't even know if it is. It, it looks like a hole, but it's like you look at it and it looks like like two dimensional flat. I don't know what to say. It's like a void or something. It's like. It's not even black. It's like grainy in a weird name? way. You know I mean? My last name? Okay, why, what room are you in? That's what I keep asking you. No, you've asked me well once. Yeah, you know. Well, I, I can let, if you want to talk to my brother, he's just real mad. I'll put, I'll put him on for you. What's his name? What do you want? God damn it! Can you tell me what room you're in? Oh, yeah, we're in the bathroom. We're, we're smoking. We got the fireworks going in a minute here. We're going to light them. That's what we're in here for. <sighs> well, look, I didn't press the button when I pressed the button on the lighter. That is how it came. That's how the lighter came. <laughs> it's so good me. I didn't make it happen. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I hope that helps. Oh, oh no. Why would you like the whole damn back? What's his name? The hole's getting so big now. What even is it? It's not even like it's a hole. It's like a void. It's like Can you tell me what his name is? I just call him brother. What's his name? Edward. I'm hanging up now. Hey, don't do it. Why? Why did you do that? Can't you see we have problems in here? Like a second floor. Just see what you just come up to the, and just go through the hallway, and just follow the noise or the smoke or something. It's gonna be rolling. I didn't make a mistake. Oh boy. No, don't go in there. Don't go in there. We don't know what that is. Oh my God. I'm gonna fuck that shit. He went in the hole. He disappeared. And now there's some other guy talking. Thank you for calling guest services. This is Adonna. Hello? Adonna, can I take a shower? Uh, who's calling?
calling? My name is Gerber Dick. Are you a guest with us? Yeah, I'm a guest. What room are you in? Hello? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? What room are you in? I'm in the big ass room. And what is your name? Gerber Dick. I don't have anybody under that name, sir. Talk to my husband, Elasmo, because you're, you're just not helping. Give me one moment. Oh, hello? Well, give me the phone. God damn it. Hello? Hello? Hello there, dear. Now, what's going on? How can I fix this problem? That's I my husband. Don't... Okay. What's going on? I don't have a guest under that name. You don't have Gerber? You need to show my mm-hmm. husband some fucking respect, all right? Hello? Yes, hello. My name is Richard Gerber. How, oh, you don't have me in the system anymore? Uh, what's the last name one more time? Gerber. You know, it's a G R B E R Gerber. That's my name. Hmm. When did you last stay with us, sir? I haven't stayed with you. I was calling to make a room booking for tonight. And then my, my husband got into a tiffle with you. And I don't know, he said something about the lady coming on to him. Wanting to touch his organs. Now, I don't stand for that. We're Christian men. We don't want that kind of thing. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. You kind of lost me in there. What was it that you said? You don't want what in the room? I'm going to fuck that lady. That lady there was coming on to my husband. Okay. Um, what? Could you describe her for me? Well, I'm blind, so that's going to be a little hard now, isn't it? Well, she you had hide perky. She had she had perky boobs and yeah, they poked into my eyes. Long hair. I lost my sight in your hotel. Okay. Um. So we don't have anyone on the name with on the system with that name, sir. Yeah. What name is that? The one you just provided. How do you know you're not telling me? Didn't you just provide me with a name? Yeah, what was that name? I'm asking you, sir. You're the one that provided me with the name. And I did let you know. I didn't provide you with anything. Just before. That was my husband. Okay. And it was for Richard, correct? Richard Gerber. Yes, and we don't have anyone on the, name, on the system with that name. Oh, we didn't hear any fucking okay, so keys clack. So what I'm the sorry? fuck do you want me to do about it? I'm sorry, sir. If you're going to be speaking for funerals, I will not be able sorry. to help you. Have a good night. Oh, hello. That's my autistic, retarded Dude, cousin. I can't even oh, type. I didn't even hear any... Hey, how can I help you? Hey, bro, can you do me a huge favor? Maybe. How can I help my you? My wife in here, my wife Kat... My wife Kat's in here, dude. I gotta go out. My we're staying in the hotel, but I'm gonna leave, so I need someone to watch my wife. Her name is Catherine. You call her Cat. Um. Uh, yeah. I don't. We don't have anyone available to do that, actually. Why don't you do it, bro? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's not something we do, really. You can fuck if you want. You want to come fuck my wife? No, no, that's that's all right. Thanks. Well, she's not gonna Why are you? Then. I'm gonna start breaking shit. Yeah, bro. What do you see? 
So are you staying here at the hotel? I am. Oh, now you're interested, huh? You th you thought I was playing, bro? What's the name of the reservation? You're all excited, huh? What you got a little you got a little boner now or what, fool? Come over here if you're gonna fucking do it. Is he gonna come up or should I start breaking shit? Hold on, honey. Maybe we can convince this pussy. Does he even like pussy? Sounds like he likes cock. You know, maybe I should go out tonight and then he'll come over and fuck you. Sounds like maybe... Thank you for calling Hotel Chimayo. This is Josh. How may I assist you? Hey, Big Josh. Can you do me a fat favor, please? Okay. Are you busy or can you come up to my room? Uh, what room is that? Um, well, my wife knows the room number. I'm a little drunk and I need you to do me a favor because she's pissed off. Okay, I... What, what, what do you need done? Okay, so... <laughs> I had fish earlier, bro, so I don't want any more, and she wants me to eat her pussy. I was wondering if you could just come and fucking lick your clip for, like, five minutes. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you for calling Hotel Chimayo. This is Josh. How may I assist you? My bad, bro. I think I got my phone lost service. So you're going to come help us or what? <laughs> <laughs> Water. Thank you for calling the Comfort hey, Resort in Farmington. Was Sorry, I didn't hot. get that. Please Just choose from the following <laughs> options. Two or five. Someone yeah. survive me. Yes. I have to go to, to the... Farmington. This is Sonia. How may I help you? Bappy, no! No! no. Say good night to Bappy. Say good night oh. to Bappy. Please say good night to me. Hello. Good night, Bappy. Say good night to our sister. Good night, Bappy. Sister. Say good night to lovely sister. Yeah, Ben. Thank you for calling, my sister. Not going to help you. Hi, my wife wants it the normal speed, but I keep. I have a really small question. Speed. And here she is. Hello. Hello. I have a really, I have a really small question. It's kind of TMI. I'm. Gonna, my, my girlfriend's going to come over tonight, and we're probably going to kind of mess around. I was wondering if I could ask you. You seemed cool when I checked in. Do what? So my girlfriend's coming over into the room tonight, and when I checked in, you seemed cool. So I wanted to know if I could ask you before she comes over if I could, like, just some, like, TMI questions. What do you need to ask me? So, like... So, okay. How, I'm sorry. How? I really want to learn how to eat pussy. Oh, fuck. You fucking weirdo, man. I'm going to squirt mustard. Yeah, we're squirting mustard all over the room. We had a little accident. My kid, he dropped an entire box of, of mustard packets. And we, we stepped, he stepped on it. He's a big fat kid and he stepped on it all. And it's everywhere. I don't know what to do. The carpet's squishy. Hello? Oh, God. Hello? I don't know what to do. Hello? Uh, it's mushy. Dad, what I do? The carpet's mushy with mustard. Well, get your feet out of there. I get, where do I stand? I don't know. I'm just not there. Go stand on the bed and mustard on my feet. Hello? Get ready, cat. I don't even know what it was. Thank you for the mustard. I'm going to you. Hey, so she's here. How do I start licking? <laughs> like that? <laughs> Wait. Thank you for calling Baymont. Hello. Thank you for calling Baymont. 
Hallo, okay, wie geht's mich? Thank you for calling, Baymont. You're not here, Vard. You're not saying anything. I said you hear me. Do you hear, Vard? You speak the English. I'm from Germany. I speak better fucking English than you. Hello. Thank you for calling, Baymont. Hey, stupid bitch. Do you hear that? Yeah, say something that's not going make you sound like a fucking robot. You're fucking so stupid. I come in my own hair because you are so dumb. Okay. I'm ready for the Viping. I'm in my room. Okay. I'm waiting. You are the Have certified Viper. You are at the front desk. You will come to the second floor. Sure. The door is open. You will come and you are Viper. Sorry, I can't help you huh? when you're talking like that, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm Thank you for calling the Quality Inn and Suites in Farmington. For reservations, please press 1. For group reservations, sorry, I didn't get that. Please choose from the following options. Thank Sorry, I still didn't get that. You will have one more try before your call is disconnected. Thank you for calling the... Sorry, I still didn't... Thank you for calling the Waldorf Astoria Park City. Please press 1 for room reservations. Please hold for assistance. Turbo, do a call. The things inside of me are deep inside of me. You put it in me, yeah. Now it is there. Yeah. Damn, so that's me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got mustard on my shirt. My mom made mustard, and it really hurt. That's all I got. Oh my god! Right. Look at that dick, fam. Whose dick is it? It's the big fat man. Oh no! We're gonna ask the Lasmo to make a call with big boy parts, and then we go go back to Cat House with the fucking Mad Hatter. Everybody's not gonna get mad up at her, and then we're gonna fucking say, "Hey, who are you?" It's gonna be a stupid fucking bitch, y'all do, do, uh. And then we're gonna do it. So- Thank you for calling the Little America Salt Lake. This is Gavin. How can I help you? Hello. Hello. Sir, could you say that one more time? Hello. Yes, I say hello to you. You're here. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, sir. Could you uh, speak up again? I'm sorry. It may be my accent. I am from Germany. You hear me? Ah, okay. I can hear you fine, sir. Yes, I was just calling. I'm letting you know that I am ready up in my room if you were to come. You are ready in your room? Yes, I'm ready if you will come to the the, the Weibenschuf. You hear? I'm sorry, I don't know the English words, but in yes, Germany... Yes, and, uh, we have the hot mustard. Yes, that is my friend. He is very confused over this mustard selection. I'm not sure. But, uh, listen... We need more hot mustard. No, that will not help this viping Stuch. I try, I try to tell you about the... My, he is like a little autistic or whatever. But uh-huh. basically, I just say in Germany, I, I am ready. Like you come... Um, wipe, I'm just not sure that you have the American word is for the Weipenstuf. Um, I mean, I can try to look it up. I mean, I have... Uh, well, yeah, does, does, does. Okay, so... Like, it's when you're, like, you are in a hotel in Germany, and then you will call the front desk, and you say, I'm ready for the Weipenstuf, and when, that is for when there are and the toilets that do not have the bidet in them, that will not spray you, then the hotel man will come up, and he will help to wipe you, and so I just, I'm ready for the Weipenstuf. Ah, oh, um... So as far as I know, so for the so you're in the you're in your room, right? And you mm-hmm. yeah. you need you need extra toilet paper or you need well no I have, you need a bit of day. Well, I've complete with number two. Uh, what you said? Okay. Um. I'm so sure you. So as far as as far as bidet, we don't sell those. 
No, no, I, yeah, I know. Well, the, in Germany, most toilets have the bidet, but when you do not have one, then you will call the front desk and they will do for you the Weipenstuf, and which is they will come up and will bring things for you to make you clean. And they will wipe, uh, typically, if it's a very good hotel. And so I just, I'm ready for the Weipenstuf. Well, uh, we can certainly deliver some things to you. What would you need? Like, uh, we can bring clean towels or cloths or extra toilet sure, paper. Yeah, like, usually, if there's no, like, bidets, you bring, like, a wet cloth and then you will come. Yeah. But basically, I'm laying on the bed now and my legs are up and I'm ready. And you just kind of come in the room, you do the Weipenstuf, and we are good here. And mm-hmm. I give you good, big tip. So, uh, as far as I know, uh, none of our housekeepers will do a personal uh, cleaning of anyone, um, but they can provide oh, things, like they can give towels and all that, but there's no one we have that will personally clean you. Well, when I tell you that the Weipenstuf has a tip that is usually like 75% of the like whole room cost, it is not cheap. So, if anyone okay. comes, I will see, give let you me see what I can tip do for, for the you, Weipenstuf. Then. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me let me uh, let me just put you on hold, and I can talk to my manager. Oh um, no! Uh, <laughs> the manager I mean, is Dr. Weipenstuf. That seems below their pay grade. <laughs> I, I'm sure that which that you don't they can tell them. You just come you, up. But... You have the tip for yourself because the thing I know about the managers is they take it all for themselves. The credit, the money, all of it. You come up. You do the Weipenstuf. You have money in your pocket. Just you. Uh, can you give me a uh, room number, sir, that we're taking this to, by the way? I, well, my friend was, sorry, my, Mostad. Uh, he has a room uh, under his name. Is it under his last name? Yeah. We, uh, what is his last name, sir? There you are, I give the phone to him. Okay. Uh, is, Thank it, you. it is Mr. Stugenwaffel? How do I spell that? Uh, do you want the German spelling or American? Uh, whatever it is in the reservation. So probably American, please. Uh, it it probably entered Jones. Jones. Look under Jones. Okay, I've got it right here. Um, can you, can I have the first name? Ready for the Viking now. I'm not sure why he's not here. Yeah, it <laughs> I would need the first name. Mike? Under Mike? Oh, the first, the... Possibly. Uh, I'm a man under uh, many mysterious names. Yes, drying. It needs vibe. You... It's getting dry on my anus. Can I ask if you have a room here, please? They tell him to come to the second floor and so just like we'll keep the door cracked. He just come in, he do the Strugenwaffel. Yeah, of course we to have the, room. To the second, the second floor, floor, yes. Okay, okay, wonderful. Yes, yeah, so uh, leave so the door cracked open. You tell him to come up, he do the, you know, the Weifenstrug. I will certainly try to send someone up there. Let try me, to, but I'm going to sit here with the shit on my anus for like an hour or something. Let me put the I do not believe sex we have on the phone. Okay. Yeah, put the fat sack slave on. The slave will explain it better. He's American. We do not have a second floor um, in our tower, sir. I'm not sure. Did I say what? I'm not sure that I said the right English words. In other words, I like a twite that two in it. Uh, How do towers yeah, so work I would need in a last America? Name. I was wondering, like, you have a whole tower, not the second floor. Is it something like an American? They don't do, like, the 13th floor. They also don't do the second or something. Or is this, like, he's just rejecting, like, the idea of number two, so he will not wipe? It's, like, subconscious programming? We, uh, we, only, we only take guests on the third floor because we want all of our guests in the tower to have a wonderful view. So if you do want to get a room oh, here, yeah. we have them all the way up to the 17th well, floor. Well, we have the room here. I may have said the wrong word for it. English is not my native tongue. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, we, uh, we don't have any the open door. We, 
wie crack the okay. door, I'm on the bed, my legs are up, the scheiß on my anus is beginning to dry, so you're not gonna get maybe like 50% tip now. The slave right. is propping his feet up. I, I just, I just need to ask you a question, sir, because I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very suspicious. I just need to make sure that this isn't some, isn't some kind of what? prank call or anything. Suspicious? No, we, like, I, it's just a cultural, cultural thing, I guess. Okay. So can you tell me, can you tell me this? What room type did you get for this day? What do you mean room type? It is a room. It has like the walls. It's got a bathroom. It's got a big bed. We have windows, towers. We have gardens. Like, uh, I would need if I'm garden. going to send someone. If I'm going to send someone, I would need a, a either a room number or a first and last name that's on the reservation. Otherwise, I can't send anyone. Well, we gave you the first and last name. I'm just wondering. Like, just go to the floor. Like, it's just a misunderstanding. We not speak the English as good as the German. We don't know the numbers as best. So maybe you just walk up to the third floor. You just look and see if the door is cracked. And when the door is cracked, you come in. You get, you know, the Weitenstufen. Right. Then we're going to give okay. you a 45 well, we will certainly, tip. We will certainly do that then. We will uh, send a mate up. And then if they see that door cracked, they'll just head on right in and do that for you. Okay, well, okay, well, in the, in the hot, the, use the hot water on the towel so this is warm and wet on the anus, please. Uh, sure, hey. I will do that. You guys, the door is open, correct me? Oh, yes, you are the man, you are here to wipe the anus. Hey, man, do you want me to come help you really quick, man? Yes, please, come in, it is beginning to dry and really need some help. Wait, yeah, it seems that someone's here. Why are you bending over like that, man? Why are you like that on your you legs up, man? You see, the, the, the scheiss on the anus is beginning to dry. I'm here for the, the Weitenstufen. You are here to clean right, me. You have I'm the wet towel. To, I will put down the phone now, and then we will send that maid up. But uh, otherwise, that's the most that I can do. Uh, otherwise, you have any other problems. Oh, no, a man is coming in here. He is in here. You're not welcome. here, man. You want me to clean it? You want me yes. to clean you? Yes, bitte. You clean the anus and anywhere, you know, like just warm water. Like, yeah, he's here. Okay. Thank you okay. so much for sending the man. All bend right. over then. Have a good night. Again. Turn around. Hey, Turn bend around. over for you. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm licking your ass. I'm licking oh. it right now, man. Thanks Hello? for calling uh, Holiday uh, Express Midday. Can I help yeah. you? Yeah, hi. I just had, I, I, and I'm sorry to sound so aggressive. I was in the hallway just a moment ago, and, and some man approached me, and he told me I was funny. Yeah, man, you're funny as fuck. Yeah, see, he's down the hall now. Man, like, I asked fun. him. Why, why I are said, you even laugh? I'm drunk as shit. I, I don't even laugh. I asked him. I said, funny how? Like I'm a clown? What's your, here to what's your room you? number? What's well, your room number? Stay, I'm, not st I'm not staying here. I just came here to use your bathroom. There's nobody here. I've been knocking on, I know. I've been knocking on doors trying to use a, a, a room of defecation. Roadway in. Hey, Terrell wants to tell you something. Roadway in. Hey. Yeah, hi. You wait. Who rode you in? Oh my God, Sir <laughs> Oh my. God. I, don't know, I, I, just, I just kept hearing everybody go. I'm with the government. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Yes. Hi. How can I? Yeah. Hi. I'm with the government. Okay. How can I help? Well, you can come clean the glass up, because in the name of the government, I broke it. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, the, you know the uh, the mirror that used yeah. to be on the wall? Okay, what room number are you in? Uh, 215. The mirror's been 215? discarded. The name it's on the now on the floor. 
It's on the floor. Uh, the room should be okay. under the government we'll of Congo, the Congo, the Congarian government. Mm-hmm. Don't you fucking um, me, me like that, computer. fucking asshole? I'm trying to you're figure a, out who you are. You're the third I'm person to uh, hum me like that. Yeah, you're the third person to uh, hum me like that. I went out to Applebee's and I said, "Hey, let me let me get a fucking apple teeny without the alcohol." I wanted a virgin. They're like, "Uh huh." Just like that. Just like, what are you guys all in the fucking union? Think you could talk to me like this? Fucking Teamsters over here? Okay. Take your tone down with me. What is the name on the room? 215. Uh, The the government of Congo is the one that booked it for me. My name is Dwight. I don't know if it's under my name or if the the guys put it. I don't... (sighs) Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm high strung right now. I think blood is pooling. Hang on. Let me let me uncross my legs. Maybe that'll be better. Hang on. Uncross these. All right, all right. My legs are uncrossed. What information do you need? All right. So you say you're in two fifteen, right? Uh, I just cool. need That's the name correct. on this reservation. Uh, yeah, my name is Dwight. Dwight. All right. That doesn't match yeah. the name that I have on profile here. Good, good. That's Are you all, sure you're calling that's the right... Coming oh. to fruition. No, it's all a part of the plan, mother... Mm. Sorry, sorry. I crossed my legs again. I almost got crossed with you. Um, no, no. It shouldn't match because I'm a, I'm a Congerian spy. Okay. You're, you're from Congo. You're a spy. You broke glass. Well, I was originally... I was, bro- I was brought up... I was brought up in the UK, and then I moved to Congo... Be after my parents were murdered, and so now I live down there, and I'm kind of a triple double spy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So like I sound, so you were I sound, I speak, I speak the English, I speak the English very well. Hi. Yes, I agree. Watch. You want to hear? Me? Listen, I can speak huh? German too. Like I, I could do, I could do the German spy thing. Watch. Hang on. Listen. Listen to me. Listen to my accent. Lass mich deine Scheide zu haben. Mich möchte deine Scheide in den Mund zu haben, bitte. Wow. See, I did. You I know, did, huh? I'm I myself did, I did, huh? a sleeper yeah. agent. That's almost my activation code. What was your activation code? Erection? <laughs> Thanks for calling the front desk. How can I help you? Hey. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Uh, yeah. This is this is Dwight. I'm calling from LA Fitness, and we got a running bet over here that you guys are too big of a bunch of pussies to turn the lunk alarm on. Oh, you're so fortunate. No. Thank you for calling Planet Fitness, oh. Lacey. This is Chris. How can I help? Hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, this is uh, this is Jared Goff here at the Planet Fitness Corporate uh, Tech Support Center. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm eating uh, some chips right now. My bad. Um, so uh, me and my colleague here, uh, John, we just um, we just pushed out an update. So there's about 20 of us here in the IT center, right? We just pushed an update out. I know a lot of the stores have been having um, uh, problems with their uh, computer systems. And we're just calling to confirm and recalibrate some systems within the, the, the gym. For the store, we call it the store here at corporate. And John, hey John, I don't know if you want to you want to give him the rundown. Sorry, John's in training here. I'm trying to get him set up. So uh, I, I I can give. I, I'm trying to do my best to give him yeah, the yeah. rundown. Yeah, get him to recalibrate the lunk alarm. Yeah, that's that's what I want you to do, bud. Uh, so I'm sorry, sir. I'm pretty new to this. Um, so we had to do is all those system updates and and such. Um, what what I've been told to do on the script here is that we had to check the computer machine. Uh, are you at the computer machine right now? Uh, I guess, yes. Well, are, are you at a computer, or, or where yes. where are you? I'm at the front desk. Are, is the keyboard working for you? Can you type into things? Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave this one to my manager tomorrow, if you could call back. I'm not too uh, sure hey, about hey, that. Hey, sir, John, sir. Take the phone from here. Sir, oh, no, 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 John, I, I, John, I got John, this. John. No, I, I got I promise okay, I got okay, this. Okay, I promise okay, got this. Okay. I got this. Sir, it's just a really simple test. We're going to test the keyboard to make sure that it's functioning still after the update, and then we're going to make sure you can move the mouse around and make sure that's functioning after update. Some simple tests that we're going to do, it'll be fine. 
Okay. Uh, so what am I doing? So, um, I, I don't know if you have uh, the GUI up, but if you could get into one of the text box and just, we're just going to have you type a couple letters. These are key letters uh, to, to type in. You don't have to enter it in. You could backspace it and erase it out. We're just testing the keyboard. I mean, the keyboard's working fine on my screen because I can type in stuff in the phone number field. Uh, what about like a text field though? Because numbers are different than text. Uh, I can type letters as well. Can Can you go through this procedure with me? Just make sure you type these uh, particular letters. It's It's just uh, a short, short seven-letter word. You don't have to I enter it. You know, uh, you, you don't have to enter. I just, I just want to make sure these particular keys are working on your keyboard because they're very important um, to make sure that we're giving our customers everything they need. So it just has to be like a notepad or something. Yeah, notepad's fine, dude. It, it's nothing, nothing crazy. We're not doing anything okay. weird. All right. What, what am I doing? These are N. Make sure it's capitalized. And then lowercase u, and then okay. s, and then t, a, r, d. It's the word mustard. It's 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 pretty random, but it's just what we use to test the systems. Did all those keys show up for you? Yeah. Perfect, perfect, sir. I appreciate I appreciate it. Man, do you think I'm doing good at my job? This is literally like the first call that I've done. Uh, I'll be honest. I was a little sketched out because I was just uh, I was confused on why why it's being done uh, this late at night. But uh, well, that's that's when we do IT updates. It's late at night. It's just you know everything's got to go through this late. That's you know less less people working. My, it's my, mostly my because all those for how I was how I was talking over the, over. Uh, the past few minutes, I've, I've not gotten a call from you guys before, so. No, it's totally okay. It's totally understandable. I mean, it's it's all those corporate fuckers. You know what I'm saying? They they always want all these tests done like late at night. Like we should be able to do them during the day, but you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah. dude? All right, bunch of well, fuckers. So you're you're able to use the mouse, right? Yes. Can you pull up Paint? I cannot on these computers. That's very limited on what they allow me to. Oh, that's right. They they do have a lockdown. I forgot that that was that was in my training. All right. Well, the keyboard's working, but you, your mouse is working too. You can move it around. Yep, I can right click stuff and like open up that little right click window and stuff. Great, great. So we're gonna have to move on to the lunk alarm. That's that's the next step in our our update process to make sure that that's actually working. The lunk alarm. Do I gotta flick it? You gotta you gotta hold it down for at least ten seconds. Uh, that is very unfortunate. Do you have a lot of people in there it. right now? Uh, a little bit, and it's usually not not uh, at, at least at this location we don't we try not to use the lunk alarm here. So that's gonna it's gonna throw off our what? members. I think. What? Why do you guys why do you guys try not to use the lunk alarm there? Just curious. Uh for uh <laughs> at least here in overnight, uh uh people come to overnight these these hours of the day to not be bothered and to not be put on the spot. So like what we what we think is like if someone's causing us a problem, we wanna talk to them single like singly, not try and like put them on the spot or call them out in the middle of a uh, middle of a gym. Like try and you know, make sure to not embarrass anybody. And I feel like the... Long hey, 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 how's it going? Hey, hey um, this is John Supervisor, uh, Jared. I'm going to take over here real quick. Hey, I know, I know, I understand the policy. I, trust me, I worked in the storefront before I got my IT degree and came in. We did the same policy at our store here uh, in Minneapolis that I worked at. Um, so the whole thing with this test, right, we, have, we do it at night because there's less people at night. Um, and it's an AI calibration system, right? So we 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 have a contract with an AI company. I can't name it because it's it's um it's a, a non-disclosure right now. But basically, if you play it for ten seconds, then your store goes in the green, and you never get a call from us again until the next update. Alrighty. Well, uh, give me one second. Let me uh let me just. All right. Lunk alarm's going off for ten seconds. Three, four, 
That's not second. Four. Five. Six. Uh, that was well longer than 10 seconds. Alarm stop. Yep, that, that was perfect as it is. Yep, our AR uh, calibration system has picked it up. You are good to go. Thank you for your time, sir. Yep. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you for calling Planet Fitness to Lacey. This is Chris. How can I help? Hey, Chris. How you doing? Um, I need you to go ahead and walk over to the Lunk Alarm and turn it on real quick. I'm sorry? The Lunk Alarm. Uh, flip the switch for 10 seconds. Uh, I prefer to not have to do that again. Why not? It's because I'm already getting... I already got a couple of members coming up asking why I had to do that. Okay, go ahead and put them on, and I'll speak with them. Oh, no, they're, they've they already walked away and gone back to their... Uh... But uh, you just need me to set it off again? No, no, I, I need to talk to them. I, I need to figure out what their problem is. Oh, they're already, they're already back at their, you know, back working out. Yeah, not for, lo- not for long. Put them, back, put them on the phone. Come on. I don't. I don't have all night. I got. Other, I got other people. To, I got other people to fuck with. Go ahead and put them on. I'm not gonna be talked to like this. I'm sorry. Listen, motherfucker. I didn't that work security money. jobs for Kmart for 16 years to be talked to like this. Once I got to the planet fitness level. Now you get on the get them on this phone. This record. In the morning. Hey. Yeah. Hello? Yeah? How's it going? Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm not doing too bad. How are you? What's going on tonight? You getting anything cool? Yeah? Who are you? Who is this? Well, this is... This is well, I mean, I called you, so I think you need to tell me who you are. Well, wait a second. Okay. Are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you driving right now? Yeah. Uh, I could hear it. I could hear the, the wind noise and stuff. What kind of car are you driving? Yeah. What is this? Wait. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I forgot. Dude, I'm sorry. I... I took a lot of smelling salts, and I kind of spaced out for a bit. I was, I was supposed to call you for the training. Oh, for the training? Yeah, for the training. Oh, yeah. Then? Yeah. You call I, me I that. Mixed up with the... Yeah, but you call me... You call me the other day, no? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. I I can't remember. I I call a lot of numbers. I got a lot going on, but yeah, I've been I've been looking into the training. I need a pump. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to train? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Where where do you live? Well, I I I live near you. Um, I I mean I travel all the, over the world though too. So like I'm flying all the time. But like my my home base is n- near your hometown there oh but what is it what is the city that you live right now uh i i dude i've got a house over in japan i got a house in dc got a house in washington i mean it's <laughs> kind of all over dude uh who is this what's your name johnny johnny yeah you know johnny no, I don't know who is Johnny. You know Johnny, dude. Come on. Anyways, so like, what kind of where, where can we start on this training regiment? Oh, I don't have a gym. Well, you can come back to my home gym. 
Yeah. It's in the basement. I got a I got a couple swings. Ah, okay. You ever uh, you ever trained on the swings? Yeah. How, how long you train on the swings? What's your what's your special move on the swings? Uh, I don't know. So you're acting a little shy, buddy. Huh? You're acting what a little are you shy. Doing right now? Well, I'm just hanging out trying to talk to you. You know, I'm a little bored tonight. Got this gym uh-huh. in my basement. <laughs> I know that you're bored. That's why you're talking to me. Yeah. Well, I'm also trying to figure out how to pump some iron and get a little bit bigger, you know? I'm not a trainer. I was joking. You... You're joking? What do you mean you're joking? I was joking. I'm not a trainer. What? What do you mean? Why would you lie like that? Don't huff and puff at me. Come on. Thank you for calling Home Two Suites by Hilton in Bend, Oregon. This is Joe speaking. I'm gonna help you. Hey Joe, how you doing tonight? Good. How are you? I'm doing goddamn good as hell. I tell you what, uh, we're looking up to come up there and get a room. We're pretty close by at the local Loves or whatever the gas station is. I don't think it's a Loves up here, but something like that. Okay. We got capacity up there. Say that again. You got you got capac- you got room capacity up there. We're close. Okay, no, I, I have some rooms. Come on by. How, how many nights do you need it for? Uh, we're looking probably about two. Y'all got the hot tub room up there? No, we don't. We don't have a hot tub room, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, you got a hot tub at your house? <laughs> no, I wish. Because I'm not going to lie, I I told you I, I had a room for two, but it's really just me, and I was liking the sound of that voice of yours, so I was thinking you'd come up room with me. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> well, I tell you what, brother, it'd be a good time. I'm in. Yeah, I'm sure it would. A, I'm sure it would be. <laughs> I, got, I got a five-gallon bucket of mustard. Okay, ooh, mustard. I'm more of a ketchup yes, person than mustard. Oh! If you had, if you, if you had, if you had a five-gallon, if you had a five-gallon bucket of mu- if you had a five-gallon ke- bu- bucket of ketchup, then that I'd be sold. But you got mustard. Sir, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big mustard fan. Sir, I gotta ask you: Are you racist since sure. you like ketchup? Sure. Racist? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm the biggest sure, racist in the racist? world. How about that? Oh yeah. You're the biggest. Who isn't? Who who is it? Tell me your opinions on the current political environment that's going on right now. Then. Oh no, that's 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 a that's a that's a that is a that is a you'll be starting a holy war there. Well, I mean, it's just you and me. You know, I mean, uh, if you had a hot tub, you and I could discuss it uh, over a uh, glass of mustard and a glass of ketchup. You know what I'm saying? Well, between you and I, 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 I'm going to be voting for the Republican candidate for president. Let's put it that way. Okay, okay. Well, so you, you definitely do like the ketchup, I suppose, then. Uh, yeah, but you, you said you have mustard, so... I, I mean, that. <laughs> well, mustard ain't blue, I tell you that. You know what? Yeah, you know what really well, well that, that's, that's, the, that's that's why I, that's why I like ketchup. It's red, so so is my, my so is my yeah. voting habits. <laughs> yeah, well, you ever you ever you ever get in a hot tub full of mustard, especially hot mustard from McDonald's? It takes oh. a lot of effort. Like Grey Poupon mustard, like Dijon mustard. Oh, Grey Poupon. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, brother. I'm talking about. I'm t- you ever had the McDonald's hot mustard? The hot pat? You no, I haven't. Go off the top of those. You got to. Oh, really? Nuggets. You got to get it. 
Yeah. There's this one time I uh I had I put I put a filled up my uh, bathtub full of uh, hot mustard and I got it in my pee pee. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, that that wouldn't be good. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was my time, brother. I tell you, it what. might burn. It might burn a little bit. It might 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 feel like it caught a case of crabs or something. I don't know, or like gonorrhea yeah. or something. I don't know. <laughs> you ever you ever had that happen? You got a story behind something like that? Sounds like you're a little familiar. No, no, not at all. No, I have, I don't have a mustard story. No. No, I'm not talking about mustard, but you know, a little burn and down there, you know. Oh, uh, no, I got no stories like that. I'm boring. Like I'm, I'm too boring to have stories like that. Well, what's the <laughs> coolest thing you ever done then? I don't think you're a boring guy. Oh, cool. I, I don't know. I, I, everyone thinks they have cool things. You know, I've, I, I, you know, I've, I've had, done my share of fun, done, had, went, been my share of places, seen my share of concerts. You know, no, you know, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, you know. What's the craziest thing you ever done? I just need to hear it. I need to hear it. Craziest thing? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. The drugs? <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever done. <laughs> so, I mean, well, yeah, you gotta, you gotta have a story. Not, not the smartest you, thing I've ever that? done, but probably that, that, I'd have to put that up with you know, not the smartest thing I've ever done. So it is what it well, is. You gotta, so you gotta have a. What, what was the best story you had tied to doing them drugs? Let me hear it. Oh, oh, I don't know. It, it involves going to I, I don't know, a, a, a Europe trip. I don't know. I, I toured, you know, recording studios. You go to and Germany like that. Did you go to Germany? I haven't been to Germany. You no, know. that's that's on the list. Well, let's so. hear the crazy story you had overseas. Let's go hear it. Oh, it was, uh, it was, no, it wouldn't be crazy. There'd be nothing crazy about it. It was just you know, it was just a cool, just you know, just it was just a cool, fun trip. That's all. Nothing, uh, nothing too, nothing too, nothing too extravagant. Nothing too wild. Nothing too, you know. So. Well, I mean, you I. Need I, I make the, you, you need me to make the room here for you. From you. Car, well, I just Carl, want to go. Carl, I'll, I'll come up there and get a room for you. Listen, and give Carl, me a good story. Carl, we got enough. We got enough. We can. We got enough information. We should be able to frame him just fine. Oh yeah, there you right. go. Yeah, that, no, no, you frame. I'm too old to be framed. You can, you can do whatever you want. I don't we can care. frame, we can frame I'm, him, and we're gonna make him. We're gonna register him as Democrat. Me, you, and you, make can, him vote. you can frame you me. Can, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can, you can, you can try to blackmail me all you want. I'm too old for that BS. No cap, so, no you, cap. He's you, about you, to vote Democrat. No he, cap. Yeah. He, <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course voting not. Voting for them. Yep. You, you are uh, now. Another vote for Camilla. Another vote for Camilla. No, 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 no. That I will tell you. That will never. That would never happen. All right, I'd have. It's already I'd done. Have to be close. No. <laughs> Hang on. We'll take it back if you tell us the craziest shit that you've ever seen. Yeah. How many dicks did you see? Crazy. Craziest? Oh, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I've seen a guy kick a car and get dragged down the street. You no know, guy hold. You know, getting held by his you foot. You saw a guy get dragged, dragged down the street. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. No, he tried to kick. He tried to yeah, kick a car. The guy in the car. Guy in the car caught his foot and dragged him down the street. That's probably the crazy. That's probably the yeah. dumbest thing I've ever seen. He's yeah. He's voting for drag. He's voting for drag. Yeah, something like that. It. It, was, it was body yeah. when he flew off. They no, I, I see. Him, right? I, let's see what else. Oh, I, I saw an old coworker uh, crashed his car into a house, like completely into a house, like we. Happen to see him. Okay, his stories. Oh, yeah, yeah stories. you know, something yeah, like that. I mean, nothing, nothing the, too. He might be voting for the right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need yeah, a exactly. way better story than that, though. I need, I need to, what, you, I know you've <laughs> taken some crazy drugs. What have you seen visually? Let's hear it. In oh, I've, I've seen my, I, I've, I've seen, my, I've seen my face boiling in a, in a mirror. I've seen, you know, clouds moving, you know, you know, because they, they had, they had good mushrooms in Amsterdam, you know, when I was there. You know, they don't have them anymore, but they was, uh, yeah. Well, what about when you were in favorite. America? Because we have way better shit here in America. You know, we... I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, like I say, the, 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 the mushrooms I had in Amsterdam were probably, probably the best ones I'd ever have. And probably the best ones anyone would ever have. So, Milkman, yeah, qu- Milkman, that, quit fucking around on <laughs> this line. You know we're doing calls right now. We don't got time for your fucking. Yeah, you are. Illegal in Oak, California. <laughs> no, you are. You, you know, you are. You are. Have you said? You, you said Candyman three times. Why are you 
getting yeah, bigger. Yeah, I love fucking second. smoking shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> It's All right, guys, I got a guest in front of me. I got to go right now. I'll see you here. They got little so, mushrooms in the shape of dick you can suck on. Oh, there you go. go. All right. They have, have, they have big caps acid? on them? No, I haven't dropped acid. Yeah, no cap. No That's cap? No, I was saying, those mushrooms have big caps on them? Have you ever oh, there you go. Crock a deal? You ever... You ever lick a nine volt battery? Amsterdam to get a oh, all the time. Mushroom tip all all the time, me. yeah. All the time. You ever you ever hook? Do you ever hook jumper cables up to your nipples? All the time. Who has? The, 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 the tighter really the no, the tighter the better, you know. Especially well, when they're hooked up to a battery. He'll fuck, I like he'll fuck you. Would, would you eat me and Ed digest will fuck me? The shit out of you. Oh, absolutely. Don't bend over when Ted's around. What? How about instead of <laughs> eating him, why don't you do it the backwards way and shove him up your ass? No, yeah, there you go. Also, oh don't God. bend over I'll when daddy's fat back. <laughs> yeah, with, with no assistance. Hey, no, our no friend care. Turbo said to go back to Amsterdam, you Dutch bastard. Yeah, you bitch. Uh, and take us with you. Yeah, okay, will do. I'll meet you there. Hey, can you go to the mirror? Can you go to a mirror and say Candyman three times? Is yes, please. Skin boiling? Yeah, I, 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 I've seen that movie. I know that movie. You then do it. You have no what? people coming to that place, do you? Beetle it's Beetle an Beetle empty Beetle place. No, there's no one in front of here. <laughs> he said, You're, "What are you, Trump supporter?" I'm Call sure. recorded. Sending to corporate. Call recorded. Hey, who's sending who's that to lady? corporate? Yeah. yeah, who's the lady? What is wrong? Who's the lady? Who's what lady? that lady? Are you who's fucking that lady? Her? What are you talking about? Is that your old lady? Do you see that lady? Who's the fucking gentleman? Do you see the lady? (sighs) What lady? Do you fuck the lady at work? The lady right outside. All the time, yeah. I I just got done like five minutes ago. The lady outside of the window? That is sexual harassment. Prove it. (laughs) Prove it. Put her on the phone and get her to tell us that, you motherfucker. Let's hear that fucking slop. No! Yeah, he's like, please make 50 copies of this. And then he goes up behind her when she's at the copy machine. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you see in the movies. And her bubble and prints it out and hands it to people. How about that Tim Boy Bussy joke? What you guys been been drinking on tonight? Pussy. Shroom. That's what you've been drinking on? Shrooms? Oh, yeah? Pussy. Sounds like you need Feet more. Sweat. Pussy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Now, now we're talking. Sweat. What about the ayahuasca? Yeah. No, no. Do what now? Yeah. Vodkila, you know. Vodkila, huh? You know yeah, when you like a oh, you. you like you do a snort of cocaine so you're this is Gennaro Cropio. Hey, Gennaro, how are you, buddy? Doing well, I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I, I'm, I'm going to take you up on your offer. Oh, uh, what, what is it? I'll suck your dick for a free night. That, that sounds good. good. I want to come down. I'll put my mouth on it for like 35 seconds, and if you don't ejaculate, then I get the free room. Okay, that's good. Asshole. Hello. Yeah, Motel 6. Hello? Can you hear me? Motel 6. Yeah, what's up? You can hear me? Yeah. You can hear me? Yeah. This is Genaro? Yeah. Genaro, I need your help. What'd you need? I need to talk to you. Can you talk to me? Yeah, I do. 
Yeah, I need you to talk to me. Can you talk to me for a little bit, for like five minutes? Yeah. Do you, are you going to be there a long time or no? Yeah, I just got here. Now, do you go help people in the room or do you just help people get inside? No, sir, I don't go to the rooms. Do you just help people check in? Yes. Do you know the like people that can help me fix the air conditioning in the room? No. There is no maintenance it's... right now. But I need your help. Can you be concerned with me, please? One second. I'm busy. One second. Battle Mountain Super 8. Hi. Hello? Hi, how can I help you? Hi, yeah, we've, um, well, we've been out all all day, and we came back to a room, we found a man in here, and he sprayed mustard everywhere. And he said he works for uh, Must, mustard, mustard. He's got, what like, a giant, you? as, well, now we're in the bathroom, he's kind of got us, uh, stuck in here. It was, uh, I think it was 215, if I remember right, but I might remember wrong. We, we've been drinking tonight, but he's not with us. Do you us. need help? Do you need help well, at all? Well, I don't know who this guy is. He says he works for you. Yeah, let me put him on the phone, because he's, he's a little weird. Here, sir. Okay, yeah. Ma- Mustard? I'm sorry, who Hello? is this? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm Mustard. It, okay, are you in room 215? Uh, I think so. I climbed in through the roof. Okay. I will be up there here in just a second. Well, I I don't think it's that serious. I, I'm not doing anything bad. Can you hand the phone back to the, the lady, please? Uh, ma'am? Are you there still, ma'am? Yes, can you hand the phone back to the la- the lady, please? Well, well yeah, that's why I'm asking, ma'am. Yes, can you hand the phone back? Uh-huh. Oh, scary! Right. I'm passing it back. I'm passing it back. Yes, hello. I'm with these two felons. Yes, I've been doing malicious things in the room, and they weren't supposed to call you. Um, I've got my lapis down. And they're taking care of me. They're, they're wiping my backside, you see. These fellas, these filthy fellas, these filthy fellas, get back here and wipe my backside. Get, get <laughs> back here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Calm okay. down, you need your medicine. Yes. You need your medicine. Oh, Open God. Yes. Huh? Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Oh, 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 yes, take it. Oh, 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 oh. Good, get another picture of this climax. Ching. Take this shit, you dirty bitch. Use What's the print. This? Wrap it. Pack the ah, cameras. Miriam, I'm going to buy. Oh, it's like a sprinkler. It's really funny because Turbo gives his laugh of approval. Pardon me? Hello? 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 How now, small tail? Uh, my, fr- my friend Turbo wanted to ask you about your wife. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. My friend asked. Hi. Hello. How are you doing, front desk? Hi, how are you? Are you there? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, oh, I'm good. Listen, I've been uh, I've been drinking. My my family has me in the car here. They're driving me, and they told me it's my job to get the room. So I was wondering if you had any rooms. I do not, and she's actually closed till 6 a.m. Oh man. What happened to you? 
What happened to you? I didn't hear all that. Yeah, yeah no, I legit could not. Hey, would you say would you say mustard lives matter is a racist term or not? Hmm. The term Maybe mustard lives a- matter does does it offend you at all? Maybe there's a wrong number you call. Maybe it's the wrong. <laughs> Sometimes you think it's LSD, but it's uh, N-bomb. I still remember when you fought that fucking dog that one time in the backyard and lost part of your pinky. <laughs> Comfort that was Currently so, I think. Hi. Um, my friend, he, he got extremely intoxicated, and he was fighting a dog in his room, and he lost part of his, part of his toe, and we want to know what to do now. What? Yeah, he had a dog that he had a dis he had a dis- he had a disagreement with the dog in the room, and the dog uh-huh. like it bowed up on him and like started giving some real static, and then he said, "Hey, I've been hanging out with my friend Jose," and he fucking drank some, and then the dog bit him. What room are you in? What room is he in? Two fifteen. Like he he the, like the dog was I mean the dog was in the right just to tell you the truth. The dog. The dog. Fuck him. Are you guys here right now? Yeah, yeah, right now, yeah. Don't fuck around. Are you here right now? I'm not. We're in. I'm in the room with him right now. He's in the other room trying to bandage up. It. He's like he's talking such mad shit. Like he's like, I'm gonna fuck that dog up. Like he's he's sitting there and he's like waiting down his gloves. He's putting nine volt batteries in his fucking wraps. Fuck that dog up, dog. He's doing what? I'm going to fuck that dog. Yeah, like, you know how boxers wrap their fists so they don't get injured? He's, like, wrapping nine bolts around his knuckles. He says he's got to fuck this dog up. Ooh, 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 ooh. got a I shadow box. Yeah. Right I'm going to fuck that dog. He took the uh, batteries out of the remotes and wrapped them up in there. Then he took your father's dignity for having a slut of a daughter and wrapped that up in there. Shut up, bitch! Shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch! Comfort Suites Burnley, how can I help you? Yeah, I was walking by and this door was open and there was this guy and there was this German guy squirting mustard on a fucking dog and I just don't know what to do. Stop calling here, you fucking cock-sucking gay-ass bitch! So, uh, okay, I am mobile tonight and uh, I don't apologize for my sound quality because I always pride myself in sounding terrible. (laughs) <laughs> but uh, I do want to thank everybody for showing up. This has been a rocking show. I've been listening. I'm up here in Sacramento. I pulled over just to put a nice kiss touch on the end of this baby. You know what? Our our Madhouse Militia family, we're on a journey together. And together, we can overcome all adversity, pain, and fear, and anger in our and we're learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles. As we find that our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy. That's right. You find it right here every week in the Madhouse Militia. We're learning that our differences are trivial and that we're all really more alike than different. Now, isn't that true? We all had a good time. All the kids played nice over here. And we get along well. And that we're healing our collective souls with the magical power of laughter right here on the Mad Health Militia Show every week Friday at 10 p.m. right here in your earballs. Mad Health Militia is saving the world one life at a time. When we're dropping the dimes, we only ask you to give us the time. Bring a friend or better yet, bring an enemy. You know what? Because they're going to be welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia family room. And I want to thank all our special guests tonight. Uh, I heard Wingles in there. And I uh, heard Mustard Machine. And uh, also all of our regular family members. D. White, Catastrophe, Daddy Fat Sacks, Big Big Boy Fart Fart. And uh, there's so many I can't even name y'all. I do love each and every one of you. You're keeping me alive, and hopefully I keep you all alive. We're exchanging the energy every week. Inspired by our General Lisi Moa, the Madhouse, Carly, oh, up in heaven. Still spinning out to the world, brother. We're spitting it out, brother. 
We're keeping everybody going with love and power of creation every week right here. You're still in my heart. You're never to be forgotten. And we all remember you every week. It's a tribute to you, brother, and all we accomplished over the years. That's right. 98.6 on so log. And I'd like to find out, D. White, if you're still around, uh, is there any possibility you could relate if you're going to have a show tomorrow? Because the Madhouse is always putting out more and more. The family's putting out more information and more funny. That's D. White. Okay, my brother D. White is on the side. He's probably fixing something to eat. He's over there being a criminal. He's probably robbing somebody their sheets. So don't forget to stop by in D. White Court, and we'll, we'll find out if he's got a show tomorrow night. But our dear catastrophe every week, Cat Machine with the Big Screen will provide entertainment. So if you like the Madhouse Family Entertainment, there's going to be plenty of movies and big screen action going on after the D. White Show. And if there isn't a D. White Show, you can count on Cat Machine. She's always right there with her brother, Mad Hatter, providing. And if you really dig the movie scene, get in there early and put your votes in and have some fun with the rest of the gang. I couldn't do it without my big brother, Axel! Keeping the wheels turning and bearing the weight and joining the turning wheels of humor and stylistics of improvisational phone comedy. Thank you so much for helping me with this big torch axle. Wasted machines, God bless you, brother. Thank you, sir. God bless you, brother, and thank you so much for this giant stage you provide every week for us. We couldn't do the, the crazy fun that we have and memories that we share every week without your help, brother. Thank you so much, Mr. Wasted Machines. And thank you, everybody that listens and everybody out there helping to make this big, gigantic, comedic fun improvisational scene happen. I love each and every one of you. God bless y'all. This is the Milkman heading back out to space in the mothership with Carlito. We'll see you next week. Over to you, Big Axel. Yeah. Thank you, Milkman. Thank you to everybody. Hey, tell everybody where we can be found oh, yeah, in the yeah, future, yeah. brother. I'm and, working and, on and also, don't I'm spit out your it. URLs, too. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm spit out the URLs. Uh, let's see here. Well, first I want to say thank you to everyone for coming and joining the show and doing calls with us and dealing with the, the insanity around here. It's, it's pretty tame, honestly. <laughs> it it, gets, it gets a little crazy on some of those calls. Those group calls where it's just people talking over each other. Sometimes it's crazy. Those are good but times. You know what? Just like this. Family if fun. It, it's nice. <laughs> it all comes out nice. And then there's, you know, you're guaranteed if you did a calls, you're going to get, you know, a DM from me with, fucking isolated phone calls so you have a little treasure from <laughs> you know from the raid here that we did <laughs> put it in your there pocket you go. Free nugget. yeah that's nice little gold nuggets for you to you know save Absolutely. somewhere put them somewhere for like for like your kids 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 to like you know listen to and go what the fuck is wrong with these people treasured memory you know? yes sir they're nice on rainy days too and you you're, you're a little sad. You just pull one of those little nuggets out and listen to those. Like, wow, that was a, that was goofy. That was a good yeah. time. You don't even have to light up or smoke one when you listen to one of those. You <laughs> yeah. go right yeah. back in time and you're there. <laughs> like, I you're damn the, right uh, about that. What did I? Ha I found something the other day. It was the very first Miriam call. Maybe I played it last week. I don't remember. I love this call. I love the original Miriam. Like, I think it's so raw and is, cool. I'm going to end the show here. You can find us at uh, immoralhole.com or travelswithmiriam.com. Those are the main two sites. I'm on YouTube at Madhouse Militia. I'm on Patreon I'm at uh, Madhouse Militia on there. And on TikTok, yes, which I don't really pay much Hold attention on. to, I have Immoral Hole, but I don't really use it. Um, if you don't like Patreon, I do have a whole bunch of different services that are listed you know crypto you name it basically uh it's listed up on immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute so i know some people don't like any Patreon, way that you so. want to support axel's got a way for yeah. you to support the family because uh, we do this free every week and if you got a couple dimes you can drop in the machine it'll come out making more and more humor go forward because it's like, not possible it's so to do this for free now but i really want to do international right. calls again but it's it's really cost prohibitive right now um 
It is. Yeah, we'll see if things get better or not later on in the Feel year. Feel free to pass some dimes over, and we'll put them in the machine. They won't go yes. to waste. They will be here for your joy and entertainment. So we get by on nickels and dimes the way it is, and uh, we yep. do appreciate all all people that want to donate because uh, it, it's much appreciated. Carlito and I and all the family will enjoy it too. So please feel free to share when you can.
and you are who God gift to earth. <laughs> This is test number two by Carlito.